Howdy. Hey, it's Cloudy. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, saying how TikTok ruined society from offending everyone. You know what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it. Put down your phone. Put it down. Has TikTok destroyed your brain? Of course it has. So here are 10 ways TikTok, TikTok has ruined ruin society. Oh, you little rascal. Number one, be a poop face. Dancing in public, harassing strangers, pranking family members. TikTok encourages you to be a dick because tormenting people yeah. is engaging. And the more engaging your hey, content the is, the more likely it's promoted. Will a stray raccoon wake up my sister? Well, there's only one way to find out. And I don't blame people for tuning in. Watching dramas like Bro. I, bro, people have done the dump. Bro, I've seen somebody for TikTok, bro. Clean chicken with dish soap and cook it right after, bro. The craziest, bro. The crate challenge. I know y'all remember the crate challenge, bro. TikTok, TikTok had us in the bender. Bro. Candy. Well, you know it's bad for Still you. Got us it's kind so of too. sweet. I can't be the only Wait, one in Disney already? hoping a fight breaks out. Just sure, goofy bro. with his mask off, stomping a guy in front of his fat kids. You did this to yourself. Now, am I encouraging character on human violence by watching it? No. Don't pin this on me. Goofy is the one stomping. Just because hey, you're bro, captivated don't, by don't, terrible don't, behavior don't doesn't mean you're watching, responsible. Bro. If anyone's responsible, it's TikTok for getting rid of consequences. When you say legal repercussions to a child, all they hear is clout. Getting arrested would be a great way to go viral. <laughs> Mom. Real. Besides, prisoners can now film content. Have you ever seen those vids where inmates are making food in their cell? Like, imagine someone stabs your bro, mom, I'll and then you catch them on the real. homepage bro, baking cupcakes. TikTok is mm, going, bro, they already think about banning it. They didn't ban it already, bro. Do y'all think they should ban TikTok, bro? I think it should be banned, bro. But at the same time, I see how it can mess up some people's, like, because some people used it to push their, uh, like, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I got on TikTok to start pushing my YouTube a little bit, but I just really didn't like TikTok, bro. I don't know what it was. But I might hop back on there because I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, it, it do do wonders, you know what I'm saying? It is a great promotion tactic, bro, TikTok. You know what I'm saying? For businesses and stuff like that. But for everything else, bro, TikTok is bad, bro. TikTok got people doing the worst trends in the world. You got kids doing TikToks in class and teachers are participating, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, in the next two, three years, bro, there's gonna be a class at school in high school, like fourth period, bro, you're gonna have your fourth period is gonna be called how to how to get followers on Instagram. It's gonna be something like I'm telling you, bro. Social media. Good day. Take so TikTok school. is not only rewarding bad about. behavior, but encouraging it. Bro, check this out. This guy's free climbing a skyscraper. <laughs> Guess he won't watch to the end. Number two, jailbait. TikTok is an app where you play the game jailbait. Is She 18 or 18. It's basically old fans for pedos. If you Google 13 year old girl twerking, you get put in a list. Well, TikTok puts it on their homepage. Like, this is what you're looking for, right? As you're petting your phone saying, thanks, Algo. Wasn't hard to figure out considering your most used hashtag was middle school. Oh, sure, fuck? you're 40, but you identify as a preteen, so it's fine. Besides, like Drake's bedroom, no one's getting carded, so keep watching jailbait vids until the manager Chipotle says, Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Number three, spyware. TikTok is basically spyware for China! Every text, selfie, and spank <laughs> session is being recorded and analyzed for Grandmaster Pooh Bear. He's digging around your honeypot, and you're just letting him do it. What Thinking, the who cares nah, me? bro, that's, that's crazy, bro. Yo. I'm not even gonna go back, bro. I don't know what the fuck I just seen, bro. That was crazy. Bro. I bleached my starfishes. Poor! That's because you're poor! Information That's is the new currency, people. Yeah. I mean, do you ever wonder why TikTok is both free and worth over $66 billion? Weird, right? Almost Man, like knowing what you money. buy, where you live, and who you vote for is worth money to some people. What was just a fap session to you is now a tissue sale for Kleenex. That's right, Kleenex preys off your sadness. Sadness you didn't even realize you had. But you know who does know? Mm, that's right, Big Daddy TikTok. And why beat the information out of you? You, you're gonna beat it out of yourself. Number four, go ahead, touch it. TikTok is like your job. It's not very long, in the last 30 shit, seconds, bro. it I, always bro. disappoints. Yet, you just can't stop touching it. Because every time you do, it gives you that sweet, sweet dopamine. Mm, finger banging never felt so good. But once you get one dopamine rush, you want another, and another. And why did that last one feel as good? Well, maybe if I just got another, and another, and why is my brain getting hard anymore? Because you're not giving it time to recover. Instant gratification is nice, but you don't want pleasure all the time. I'll give you an example. That's Imagine true. you had a pork bot, customizable to look like whoever you want, and comes with a built-in dishwasher. Now, of course, for the first few weeks, you're not leaving your house as you're testing out her spin cycle, but eventually, you're going to other people. Why? What because the porn is always better with a story. Sure, smashing is great, but meeting someone, flirting, holding hands, makes the journey to the massage table that much better. And TikTok is depriving yep. you of that journey by <laughs> dogging your serotonin, making you s*** out all your happiness Bro, and self-respect.
It's crazy, bro, but he's I'm Nora. Sense. I ditched the you know 9 to 5 in order to thrive using Bluehost for my vintage online store. With right. Bluehost... Number 5, False Hope. TikTok gives out views like roofies at a Drake concert. All you need to do is show up to get some. Do you know the second your video plays it counts as a view? And as soon as it's over, it replays, which counts as another view. This gives people the false hope that they're talented. Hey, got, my got vid. My got vid! Got 1.7 million views, end, mom. So the only trash I'm taking out is you! But even if your vid goes viral, it doesn't matter, because TikTok pays almost no money. Why do you think all my short form content ends with YouTube? Because YouTube is where the real money's at. TikTok is basically paying people in V-Bucks. Like, what are these, pesos? How about you pay me in real money instead? Is That's why it? most people on the app are children. What? Because there's almost nothing a child won't do. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'll take some V-Bucks, bro. I'll be on Fortnite. Oh, but being a content creator is the dream, right? Wrong. The joy of putting out a banger is quickly smothered by the fear of next video. What will it be? Will it perform well? What if it gets taken down? What if I yeah, stutter I'll be while saying bigger? Lot, you know? This is, look, look, I'm gonna be honest. This is partially the reason why I took a step away, bro. You know what I'm saying? I started thinking about all this stuff, but I... I forgot, like, bro, just have fun, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do, you know what I'm saying? So I'm back. No, then that fear lives rent-free in your head. You see, it's not joy when a video performs well, it's relief. Because being a content creator is stressful. You're never off the clock. Anytime yeah. you're on vacation or at a stressful concert or hell, balls bro. deep in a thought, is a chance for especially, you to record. Bro, There's no more it, especially, and, and this, this, this pertains to a video I saw from camera, I was going to react to it, but I ended up just watching it, bro. But it's like, is a nine to five harder than streaming or is streaming harder than nine to five? You know what I'm saying? And bro, doing content and stuff, especially when you haven't hit it yet to where you're like, okay, this is my nine to five now. Like, this is my job. You know what I'm saying? Doing what I like to do. This is my job. You feel me? When you are not at that point yet and you still have to work and do this. it Well, you don't have to do it, but if you love doing it, you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about the editing. And all, bro, it's stressful, bro. It's stressful when you're trying to get successful in that category. You know what I'm saying? But once you're successful in it, like yeah, it's still stressful, but it's more. It's 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 you can you can take a break. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the difference between a nine to five and like content creating this stuff. You have the chance to take it. Like you can create your own schedule. That's that's really. Pretty much what it is. You create your own schedule. In the moment, that's really the, the only difference. Is now based like. on how many views you create get. So if you want to live the dream, you then make put more down money your doing it. You know pick up your phone. Number six, scammers. Everybody's an expert nowadays. Sitting in their mom's Mercedes, talking about the next Bitcoin. You can't trust banks. They're just trying to milk money out of you. You would have known that if you bought my course. But lucky for you, it's on sale. That's right. For <laughs> Bro, a mere dollars a month, courses, I can tell you which crypto to buy. Now, sure, I may have previously bought that crypto and convincing large groups of people to buy it will raise the value of it, allow me to, like your father, pump in dump but guys come on you know me would i lie to you billy get out of the car i need to go to work i'm working right now mom number seven blackout mm. tiktok is like getting hammered where you wake up hours later with no memory and a bad taste in your mouth it basically control all delete sections of your day like how many times have you been doing something you enjoy then all of a sudden it's 3 a.m and your balls are covered in peanut butter why do you keep looking at me like that what mango you see tiktok doesn't add value it subtracts time you don't learn anything it doesn't change your outlook on the world it just makes you speed run to the next day and don't compare it to apps like brother you. i don't know why like I think I, I low-key didn't like TikTok because of the dumb challenges that was coming with it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I was like, TikTok is kind of like another Instagram, just a quicker version of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if that made sense, but that's really the reason why I didn't like TikTok is because it had a lot. It was so many dumb challenges I was seeing, bro. It, bro, it was it was really making me mad, bro. W bro, when TikTok was like getting real huge, bro, like when it was like at its like peak, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I walked. I walked in a store and I seen somebody making a TikTok, bro. But you know how cringy it is to be in the, bro. You know, bro, behind the scenes of a TikTok is the most, like, you feel the most cringiest feeling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's so cringy, bro. It's, you get that, ugh. Feel, you know what I'm saying? When you behind the scenes like a buffet, of a TikTok, where it's mostly bro, bad for you, but bro. there are some healthy options. Especially if you're not making it yourself, bro. You, well, you know like... you're gonna feel like <laughs> afterwards. Number eight, Dad, I'm tired. TikTok encourages you to exploit your kids. Remember, you don't need a consent form to be a terrible parent. This family's a team, okay? And teammates help each other. Don't think of it like you're working. But if you shake the camera again, I'm gonna shake you, Stephanie. Is it abuse? Probably, but it's gonna be hard to call CPS when your only words are Dad, Dad. Besides, all you gotta do is convince your kids that this channel is really for them. That video. 
bit of you crying at Grand Grand's funeral is why we're in Disney World right now. So how about you start shedding some more tears before I force them out of you? Number nine, rabbit hole. Like a woman, TikTok only cares about attention. Whatever gets your attention is what it promotes, whether that's college wrestling or high school wrestling or middle school wrestling. Once you bite down on something, the algo starts reeling you in. And before you know it, your homepage is covered with people transitioning to lizards. Man, where is your nearest terrarium? My preferred pronoun is Komodo. Okay, 100 for me to crawl on you, 40 to put my eggs in your mouth. Number 10, copy pasta. That's Originality crazy. is dead and React content killed it. Imagine making a video about your favorite cocktail, only to have it get less views than a Bill Cosby duet. That's not how you make a drink. This, this is how you make a drink. You see, TikTok doesn't punish theft, it encourages it. Think of the duet and stitch button like a pair of jugs just begging to be milked. Mm, squeeze every view you can out of me. Because TikTok knows nah, most bro, people bro are is talented. Crazy, That's what makes bro. Hey, this video is not for kids, bro. To people you know special, the fact that they're better. If everyone was talented, then <laughs> talented. bro, y'all saw, y'all saw, bro. Squeeze every view you can out of me. Look, look, look at the black dude. Look at the black dude. Talented. That's what makes talented people special. The fact that they're better. <laughs> if everyone was talented, then no one would be talented. Society needs winners and losers, and right bro, now, the reason, losers that's are the winning funniest because unique and ever, original bro. ideas are being smothered by recycled garbage. Shh, it'll be over soon. Being great is all about taking risks. You think Quentin Tarantino would be where he's at if he decided to play it safe? No, he carved his own path and wrote a scene where he gets to suck on Selma Hayek's toes. So keep simping and reacting. Hey, bro, who saw that movie, bro? I didn't see the movie, but I seen so many clips of that going around. I'm like, bro, really, bro, himself? As, bro, you know what's even more crazy, bro? Will be even more, because y'all let me know in the comments if y'all watch the movie. I just never watched it, you know what I'm saying? But I, I've seen so many clips around the internet. Bro, did he just write himself in that scene only? Because if he did that, bro, he has to be in investigation you know what i'm saying he has to be under investigation bro because bro bro gotta be doing some crazy stuff behind the scenes bro as true innovators just wrote himself for that dreams. scene so there you so have crazy. it 10 ways tiktok look, has ruined society look, if i missed any look, but look. look at all the places you'll never visit look, look at all the hoes you'll never clap look, look at the life you wish you had look, I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of Two weeks ago, your boy got a vasectomy. That's right, I not only allowed someone near my downstairs Wait, with scissors, but I paid him to do it. Now, some of you may be asking, why would you solder your grapefruits? Well, plenty of reasons. One, because imagine I'm dating a girl, and she says she's pregnant. <laughs> oh, I'd play along, You got a point, too. but you don't want kids, bro? You don't want kids? Uh, he, You probably got, like, one or two, and he probably, like, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Or he Babe, I'm so happy. Now I have Wait, nine months really to get prepare. <laughs> nine months to get back at someone, I'd come up with horrible ideas. And before each one, I'd have her verbally confirm that you're going to be a dad. Oh, babe, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Reason number two, Handmaid's Tale. Currently, your boy lives in Texas, which is not a great state to knock somebody up in. Now, sure, there are options, like keeping it or pouring olive oil on the stairs, but uh, they're both not good options. That's crazy. You know? Like, if there was an option that was, I don't know, 800 bucks and two weeks of sadness, I'd probably pick that one. Reason number three, if I decided to have a kid, I would adopt. Unless he had a defect. I'm talking cleft lip, extra chromosome, or shade beyond khaki. But a normal foster kid? Oh, I definitely adopt. Because unless he has food, a decent role model, and a safe place to live, he has no shot of success. Plus, there are about 400,000 kids in foster care. What are the odds that the one I yeah, spooge out is going to be better? You know, with 400,000 people out there, there may not be a LeBron, but there's definitely a Liam Hemsworth. And really, the main... Hey, man, I'm not going to lie to her. That's a lot of kids, bro. Damn. That's a lot of kids, bro. The reason I want to adopt is, if God I don't like the kid, I can just return it. Sure, I didn't keep the receipt, but foster place, homes are like Costco, where they have to accept it back, no matter how damaged. Mm, you know what you want to do? Hey, man, uh, what y'all think, bro? Scrub? Nah, this nigga tripping. <laughs> Hey, what y'all think, man? Y'all think TikTok ruined us, or y'all think TikTok saved us? You know what I'm saying? Or do y'all think it's 50-50? You know what I'm saying? I'm out this one.